Clyde's just about to empty all this gear out and in the next clip you'll see if like magic an empty van we've definitely got to do something about this ride height almost get my head in there <laughs> So in this episode, we will be transforming this commercial van. We have things like the Transport HQ headlights going in, some fog lights, some Stance Plus suspension, AMROC wheels, and then inside, we will be trimming it all out, fitting in some uh, seats in the back. We've got a flashing light, that's a bit cool. We are fitting some cam glass, glass in here, and we're also fitting one of their new flush mount sliding opening windows in the other side. Follow along as we convert this van. making some good progress on this now all the interior is stripped out the headlining's all out all the interior panels uh, the B pillar panels are also out um, I've got those all down here so at this point we're removing the plates for the security locks we need to get these out of the way so we can cut the windows at a later stage Clyde and I work together to remove all the bolts and then get these panels out the way. Here we have Clyde removing the bulkhead. So we use a belt sander to sand down the original spot welds then with the spot welds belt sanded down, you can snap off the remaining bulkhead mounts and we clean up the metal, giving a nice smooth finish so we can then carpet over the top of everything. We do the same to the floor panel as well, so it's all clean. Now we've got the windows to go in. So first of all, we drill some holes around the van before I jump in, get the reciprocating saw ear protection and get to work. We use a reciprocating saw and I've got the knack of it so I can do it in one clean swoop. Let there be light. Then we use a belt sander to clean up all the edges, blow it off of an airline and remove any swarf from inside the van and the channel where the panel used to be. Once all the metal work has been deburred and there's no swarf inside the van, we put a little bit of primer around the edge. Now whilst all the interior is out, it's time to get on and put the seat belt mounts in for the second row of seats. So you can buy these replacement inserts and slot them into place. First of all, we drill a big hole, then drop the piece in and weld it into position. Once the welding's done, we add a little bit of primer around the fresh welds and new metal, and we can carpet over the top of this.
So, as you've just seen, we've cut all the windows. Um, then Clyde has started trimming all the inside. So we, we actually put a board in there to cover up the vent holes on a long wheel base. And then we can trim over the top. We trim right the way around all the metal work first. Uh, then Clyde makes up the boards that go on here. We utilize the original popper holes um, and then we fit in some deep poppers into this panel here. It's obviously all insulated, all the roofs insulated as well. We use the four ounce uh, wadding for that. Nice thick wadding um, and then that, that helps out. This one isn't going for the sound deadening mat so sometimes we do put a sound deadening mat on first but this is just going to be a day van not a full camper. Um, we've got the flooring to go in as well, so we'll cut a new ply floor and we'll lay the lino on top of that, that's the outro non-slip grippy grey flooring. So a little tip that we actually do so we can carpet right up to the metal work on the inside is put some plastic sheeting on the outside, that way you don't get the spray glue spraying out. Um, and then we can take this all off at the end and bond the glass on. You can see from the inside, we take the carpet up and over. That way we can finish it right the way up to the edge of the metalwork along there. So you don't need a knock-on trim then, and it just finishes nicer. On the back doors, because we're not actually carpeting these, we do put on the knock-on trim right the way across there. So our client specified he wanted a set of Amrock steels to keep the commercial look. So it's time to get these wheels built up. These are 18 inch by eight inch wide. And we actually installed a set of 235 50 18. So the windows are all installed, but if you want to see us do an episode on installing windows, comment below. So obviously behind me, we've got the finished van, but for this episode, that's it. Catch us in the next episode when we show you some more.